Hey, what up, Internet? Today I'm going to swap the piezo pickup element on this acoustic electric guitar. This is a Martin LX1E Little Martin. So there are two things on the guitar that we're going to touch during this project. First, we're going to need to get to the pickup element that lives under the saddle in the bridge. And we're also going to need to remove from the guitar the preamp module. Now this is what the pickup is wired to and what amplifies the pickup for output. Now here's what we're going to need to do the job. First thing you're going to need is some place to put all your small parts, your screws and things that you take off the guitar so they don't roll away and get lost. Next you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver for removing screws from the guitar. You're going to also need a soldering iron and you're going to need some solder to use with the soldering iron. It's also a good idea to have a pen and paper whenever you're doing a project like this to take some notes. Now we're going to need to remove the saddle to get at the pickup. So to do that, we're going to have to loosen the strings all the way, which I've already done. You can see they're loose there. You can take them off the guitar if you want. In this case, I was feeling lazy and I didn't. So we're just going to lift the strings up as much as we can. And we're going to just gently pry the saddle out of the slot. It's not glued in or anything. It just kind of sits in there. The strings hold it in place. This is a good point to use your pen and paper to make note of which side of the saddle faces which direction so that when you go to put it back together you put it back the way it came out. Now put this away with your collection of small parts in your safe place. And now we're going to take the pickup element itself out. You're just going to slide it out of the slot. It's also not glued in or fastened in in any way. It's just kind of sitting in there. And you're just going to gently work it out. Stand it up straight. And now it's time to remove the pickup element. So to do that, you're just going to grab it close to where it protrudes from the body and push it back through. It just pokes up through a hole in the bridge. Just going to push it back most of the way through. Not all the way through because you need to reach your hand in there and grab it. And leaving it in a little bit will make it easy to find. So you just reach your hand blindly in the hole, grope around until you feel what feels like the pickup, and give it a gentle tug. If it comes out, you got the right thing. If not, try again. And you're just going to pull the pickup out through the sound hole with your hand when you pull your hand back out. And there you go. Now that we have the pickup element free, it's time to get the preamp module out of the guitar. So you're going to take out your Phillips head screwdriver and you're going to remove the screws that hold the preamp module in place. There's a little tab on the preamp module that's preventing it from sliding out of the guitar. So you're going to want to reach your hand in there and reach under the preamp module that's close to the back of the guitar. And you're going to find the tab with your finger and depress it. And you'll be able to see easier once we pull it out of the guitar what I'm talking about here. So right there where my finger's pointing, that's the tab that's holding it in place. You just stick your hand inside the guitar, push that tab down, and that frees it out to slide out of the guitar. Now you're going to just take off this cover on the back of the preamp module. You're just going to loosen this screw here. You're going to put it off to the side someplace safe with the rest of your small parts. And now this back cover on the preamp should just lift right off. Now this is a good time to take note of which way it was oriented so it's easy to put it back on later. Now we're going to fish the pick up element out of the guitar through the hole where the preamp was. Just going to gently pull it out and untangle it from the rest of the cables. Now you can see where it attaches to the circuit board there. We're going to make note of which wire goes on which side. Black on the left, drain on the right. Now we're going to remove anything we can to get it out of our way. So these plugs, these cables, we're just going to remove them from the preamp. This guy's got a little tab, just to press the tab and pull. Other guy has no tab, so you just grab him and pull. Make sure you're pulling from the plug part and not from the wires. You don't want to damage the connection. So now your preamp is free. And now it's time to get to work on removing the defective pickup and installing the new one. 
just going to take your soldering iron and you're going to just desolder the two solder joints that hold the pickup onto the preamp. You can use desoldering braid or a solder sucker, but in this instance I'm not. I'm just heating up the solder enough that I can pull the wires loose. Alright, now that old pickup is free. It's totally removed. So you can put it off to the side and grab the new one. Now we're going to look at the wires on the end of this new pickup here. Going to take a close look and we're going to see that they're already tinned, which is pretty sweet. It's going to make it much easier for us to install this. So we're going to take these wires. We're going to refer to our notes from before. You are keeping notes, right? And we're going to figure out which of our conductors needs to go on which solder joint. So you place them in place, and because they're pre-tinned, all you need to do is heat up the solder until it melts a little bit, and that will help hold your wire in place while you do the other connection. All right, now that both of those guys are stuck on there, we're going to grab some new solder, and we're going to apply some new solder to the old solder joint to make sure it's nice and tight and make sure it's nice and clean. All right, now we're in. Those solder joints look pretty good. You can give a little tug just to make sure. And I think it's time to move on with the rest of the installation. So now at this point in the video, we're basically going to do everything we did in the first half, but in reverse. So we're gonna reconnect the plugs that we unplugged from the preamp module. They only go in one way, don't force them. If they don't go in, spin them around. Try the other way. They should just snap in there pretty easily. Now you're going to reapply the back cover to the preamp module. It should only fit on one way, but be very careful. There's a little uh, detente or notch cut out of the preamp module on the side there where I'm pointing. And that's to accommodate the pickup wire. You don't want to put the pickup wire between the two edges there and chop it, right? You don't want to crimp it, chop it. So make sure it lays in that little gap when you reapply the rear cover of the preamp module. And as you're tightening it, before you crank it down, just make sure it's still in that hole. Measure twice and cut once, right? All right, now we're in. So now you're gonna take your pickup and you're gonna fish it back into the guitar. Once again, we're just going in reverse from what we did before. And now you can place your preamp back into the guitar. And this time it's much easier. The way the little clip is uh, designed, it just snaps right in. You'll hear a nice snick sound and it'll, uh, it'll sit in there real tight. Now you can't pull it back out, right? Because that little catch is catching it again. You can take your screws that you've put off to the side safely, right? And you're going to put them back into the preamp to reinstall it into the guitar. but you don't need to see me do that whole thing, so we'll jump ahead. All right, now our preamp is reinstalled. Our pickup is inside the guitar. I'm gonna pull it out so that you can get your hands on it. Turn the guitar on its side. It's easier to get your hand in this way. You're gonna take your pickup with you. You're gonna kind of grope around inside the guitar by the bridge until you find the hole in the bridge that the pickup element has to go through. You're gonna feed it through there with your hand inside the guitar, and then once it starts poking out, grab it with the other hand and pull it loose. And now you've got your pickup up there, you're going to slide him under the strings, and he's just going to sit in the slot in the bridge, right under where the saddle goes. So he is flexible, so don't worry if you have to bend him a little bit, just don't be too extreme with it. It just sits in there, once again, it's not screwed in, it's not glued in, it's not fastened, just kind of lays in there. Now we're going to take our saddle, going to refer to your notes, right, to make sure that you're putting it back in the way that it came out. And you're going to just put it in the way it came out. You're going to slide it onto the strings and lift up your strings until you can get the saddle to sit nicely in the slot on top of that pickup. Again, no adhesives, no fasteners, this just sits in there, right? The tension of the strings just holds that saddle in place. All right, the moment of truth. Time to test to see if I did a good job. Put this guy in. Turn on the speaker I'm plugged into. Just using a Behringer powered speaker, powered PA speaker to test this out. Now the good sign is that 
the tuner responds to pitch. So that's good. So we're gonna unmute and hope for the best. And you can hear that the guitar is making noise. There's the pickup. Working for you. Well, working for me. There we go. We've successfully replaced the piezo pickup element in this acoustic electric guitar. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, if it has been, leave me a thank you in the comments below. If you still have questions, leave your questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you didn't like my video, please let me know what you didn't like so I can do it better next time. Thanks guys.